we are asked to identify each of the following numbers as rational or irrational. Let's begin by defining real numbers. Real numbers are numbers that would appear on the number line, and all real numbers are rational or irrational. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written in the form of a over b, with a and b as integers, b not equal to zero. In decimal form, rational numbers terminate or repeat. On the other hand, irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written in the form of a over b, with a and b as integers. In decimal form, irrational numbers do not terminate and do not repeat. Looking at the notes above, for the examples of rational numbers, notice here we have two fractions that fit the form of a over b, with a and b as integers. Here we have the set of integers, which are rational because they can be written in the form of a over b, where the denominator would be one, or we can say in decimal form, integers. 0 0.4 is a terminating decimal, or a decimal that stops. 0 0.3 with a bar over the three indicates the three repeats, and therefore it's rational. And then finally we have the square root of 16, which simplifies perfectly to four, and we know four is rational. Looking at the examples of the irrational numbers, here we have the square root of five, which we can see as a decimal does not terminate because of the dot, dot, dot to the right, meaning the digits continue forever, but none of them repeat, making the square root of five irrational. In fact, whenever we take the square root of a number and the radicand or number under the square root is not a perfect square, it will be irrational. Pi is irrational because as a decimal, it does not terminate and does not repeat, and the same for this decimal here. So going back to our problem, the first number is 0 0.29, which is a decimal that stops, or a terminating decimal, which means that 0 0.29 is rational. 0 0.29 is equal to 29 hundredths, which is a fraction is equal to 29 over 100, which does show the number can be written in the form of a over b, with a and b as integers. Next we have the decimal 0 0.816 with a bar over the one and the six, which indicates the one and the six repeat indefinitely. Because we have a repeating decimal, the number is rational. If we were to expand the decimal, this is equal to 0 0.8 and then the one and the six repeat, so we have one, six, one, six, one, six, one, six, forever. The next number as a decimal does not terminate because of the dot, 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 but none of the digits repeat because we have a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. The number is irrational. The next decimal also does not terminate because of the dot, 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 and while the decimal part does appear to have a pattern, we have five, one, five, one, one, five, one, 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 None of the digits repeat in the same way, and therefore this decimal is non-terminating, non-repeating, it is irrational. Again, while there is a pattern here, there's no way to express the decimal using a bar, and therefore we say it's non-repeating. Next we have the square root of 81. 81 is a perfect square because it's equal to nine squared. The square root of 81 is equal to nine, and nine is rational because it can be written as a fraction with the denominator of one or as a decimal, it terminates. The square root of 81 is rational. And then finally we have the square root of 17. 17 is not a perfect square. This will not simplify perfectly. And therefore as a decimal, it will not terminate and not repeat. The square root of 17 is irrational. If we look at this more closely, the square root of 17 is going to be less than the square root of 25, where 25 is a perfect square, and the square root of 17 is going to be greater than the square root of 16, where 16 is a perfect square. The square root of 16 is equal to four. The square root of 25 is equal to five. So the square root of 17 is somewhere between four and five, but it is going to be irrational to convert to a decimal, we would need to use a calculator. And let's go ahead and show that. 
if we enter the square root of 17, the calculator is rounding, so this decimal does not terminate, but we can see from the digits it does not repeat, showing it's irrational. I hope you found this helpful.